Now I'm sure there's plenty of good video games based on movies out there, but I was burned before in the past. So I'm going to have to side with movies based on video games. Now when you've got 90% of the internet saying they're all shit, it's just they're not looking hard enough. I'm going to start with Resident Evil. Now before I start, I am not saying the films are better than the games. It's not the case here. I'm saying films based on video games are better than games based on movies. How freaking cool was that laser room scene? Now that is what I'm talking about. Movies based on video games have to also appeal to people who have never played the games. That's what the guys on the internet just can't grasp. My favourite character didn't make it into the film. That doesn't happen in the game. I'm hungry. I ask you this. Would you think a person who never played Resident Evil would want to play it after watching the film? Now, when people talk about films based on video games, they always seem to skip the animated films. Let's be fair. They all love Final Fantasy. What about Dead Space, Dante's Inferno, Tekken? But my all-time favourite animated movie based on a video game is... Street Fighter 2, the animated movie. I love that film so much. Just the soundtrack alone is worthy of some kind of award. Alice in Chains, Pearl Jam, Nine Inch Nails, Corn. Is this a 90s manga movie? Or one of Tom Poe's wet dreams? I still have my VHS copy of the movie. And the DVD. Which also comes with the young cut Japanese version. Which is like watching a completely different film. Now if you're brave enough, you need to check it out. But you know guys, we only watched this film for one scene. You know what I'm talking about, it's the Chun-Li shower scene. Oh my god. Now the best thing, or one of the best things about this movie, also has characters from Super Street Fighter 2. It's always something with that Fei Long. He's an asshole! Now if you've seen this film, did you spot Akuma in India? I bet you didn't. Now you may have noticed that so far I've not said anything about Mortal Kombat. That's because it's the best game to movie and it's like shooting fish in a barrel. No, what I want to talk about is the Super Mario Brothers. This movie isn't as bad as people make it out to be. If you take into account what I said before about movies appealing to people who haven't played the games... No, who am I kidding? Everyone's played Super Mario. It's based more on Super Mario World really. But I gotta know what people were expecting to see in a movie about a larger than life premise like Super Mario. Now for a live action adaptation, it's pretty much bang on. Here's, here's another question for you. If you were to make a Super Mario Brothers live action movie in the 90s, what would you have done? Who would have played Mario and Luigi? But in that movie there's also the little things that I like, like, um, like the SNES scope, or how Cooper walks around like a T-Rex with those little arms in front of him. The bomb arms. Gumba's shoes. You know, it's just the little things. Okay, one last question, then I'll shut up. What is so wrong with video game movies? Thanks for listening.